Hello Leo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2023 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So let's see what we have for you Leo for the month of March 2023. Your card has fallen out. And the first card... Always nice energy. We have recovery, getting back on track. Things beginning to look up. That is the energy of recovery, whether it's health, financial, mental, love. So let's see what we have for you. I'm going to pull a power animal for you. Let's see what we have. Uh, a power animal card for you here, Leo. For the month let's see what traits come out for you for the month of march what do we have for leo thank you we have horse freedom you always have a choice we have that with recovery so let's see what else we get here leo i'm going to pull a couple of cards to look at the energy of the month of March 2023. So let's see what we have for Leo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Leos. March 2023, thank you. We have Earth, number 24. The frequency of Earth activates our deep connection to this physical plane by showing us the beauty of all aspects of our Great Mother and revealing the more ethereal spiritual aspects of our nature. Earth energy can be linked with a new sense of growth, planting seeds, cultivation, also groundedness. I'm going to pull you another card just to see what we get. What do we have for Leo? Thank you. We have Coral. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. Number 18. It might be that colour is significant for you as well in March 2023, Leo. So synchronicities, coincidences, things just falling and happening, almost kind of like in, in just flow, in unison, one after the other. I'm going to pull some cards and see what we get for you. And to start the reading here, Leo, I have pulled your card from the yearly 2023 tarot reading. Uh, so March is the Seven of Wands, which is actually Leo energy. So let's see what we have for you with regard to that. Let's pull some extra cards. What do we have for Leo, please, for March 2023? Message for our lovely Leos, please, Angel Spirits Guides, March 2023. Message for Leo, March 2023. We have the Nine of Swords. More Swords Energy, we have the Four of Swords. The Hierophant. The card of Leo in the Minor Arcana for me as a reader, the King of Wands, male or female, this will be your card. Like seeing it towards the end of your reading. These cards, I mean, divine timing and orchestration and all that, but generally... These can be week by week cards as well. We have the King of Pentacles, the Magician, we did talk about synchronicity didn't we, divine timing and orchestration, fortuitous set of circumstances, events. That's the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, this is very lovely. Almost like spirit has your back there. With yeah, 
like I said, <laughs> synchronicity, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Very good, very good time in terms of money in particular. So let's start with this card here, Leo. Do what you do best. And this is Mars in Leo, so recognizing your own power, remembering who you are, this is, I want to say, the message that's coming through to me really loud and clear is don't let the world get you down. This is, you might be facing challenge, opposition. You might need to be persistent and determined with whatever situation that you're facing here, Leo. But by standing your ground and remembering who you are, you have the power within you to overcome anything that you face. It's just remembering who you are at the end of the day. That's the energy with the seven of wands. It's discovering your own power. And we discover our own power a lot of the time when we're challenged. Whether it's with people, place, person, situation. It is the energy of standing up for what you believe is right to be true. Defending what you need to... Be, defending what you need to defend, what's important to you, what matters to you, and staying persistent, continuing on that path until the job is done. So this is definitely an energy here of, of I'm standing my ground and I'm not going to be beaten. You know, it's somebody who will continue on until the job is done. That's a lovely energy. And we have the energy of recovery, synchronicities, that the Wheel of Fortune, this is a very supportive energy for you, the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune. Very good in terms of money when the Wheel of Fortune comes out because it can be linked to things like windfalls, synchronicity, divine timing, orchestration, people coming into your life for a specific reason to support you. It's all this energy of synchronicity and divine timing. Fortuitous set of circumstances, events that just unfold for you, that bring you good fortune and good luck. It might well be that you are lucky this month, or certainly the, the second half of the month in particular, Leo. There could be some luck on your side, coincidences, how things happen for you. And remember, it's divine timing and orchestration. We have the Nine of Swords and the King of Pentacles. I feel this is your energy and their stress, stress to do with money, because the King of Pentacles represents stability and security, uh, generally long-term stability and security, somebody who understands how to mass manifest money. But their stress associated with this, the Nine of Swords, something really preying on your mind, the Nine of Swords can be when we're uncertain, we don't know what's going to happen. And when we don't know, we think more, we dwell more, we worry more, even, you know, stay up in the dead of night worrying. So there's always a, try, a need to try and keep perspective with the Nine of Swords. Take that step back because sometimes when we focus on, on the negative, and it doesn't mean that it's not based in fact, it is. Uh, there's a reason why, that causes you worry here in this situation, but there's, when we focus and over-focus on the issue, we become over-consumed by it. So just be aware of that here, Leo, because when we're aware of it in our own mind, we understand how we need to keep perspective. And the blanket here with the Nine of Swords is telling you that Spirit is protecting you, even though you're not aware of it, even though you don't see it. If you need help, ask for it. This is the energy because it will be given to you. Uh, so really spirit telling you that, yes, there's a recognition that you are you are worrying about. Uh, it feels like money areas here, stability, security, money. But you are being protected throughout this process. Because there is this sense here, Leo, and this is that Four of Swords of taking that step back. And this is what I was talking about with that Nine of Swords. Uh, the Four of Swords can be when we need to just take that step back and get perspective, get our head around a situation in terms of 
how we transform the situation now. And that's the magician, because when the magician appears in your reading, you have the tools, you have everything that you need, the resourcefulness, the practical skills with the pentacle energy here, the intuitive ability with the cups energy here, the swords, the mental clarity, the strategy, the perspective, should you take that step back and get that perspective and the wand, the empowered action and inspiration to bring growth and success into your life. So the magician is has full mastery over earth, air, fire and water and you are that person. This is somebody who just needs to take a step back to connect to that power and realization because when you do, there is the sense of taking action to transform your situation for the better here, Leo. So a definite energy of the power is within you to create the reality that you want, to turn negative to positive, base metal to gold. And we do have the gold towards the end of this month. So this is the energy here of, okay, how am I gonna transform the situation? What is it that I need to do? What plans do I need to put in place? What conversations do I need to have? This is the perspective that you're getting. And it might well be that even though other people might give you advice, even be, you know, wanting to guide you in specific directions, by taking that step back, this is about you trusting your own wisdom and counsel and perspective on the situation and understanding how you need to take charge and take the initiative here to bring transformation. This is a time of you working your magic. And magician is all about as above, so below. When you do take action to transform your situation, you are being given the assistance by spirit. So, very, very powerful energy here. The Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant, have faith, the higher powers at work. I mean, this is really spirit giving you, bringing you support and help in the area that you need it here to transform your situation. This is where spirit has your back. Um, again, the Wheel of Fortune is good luck, good fortune, very good in money reading. So uh, pro uh, expansion, growth, prosperity, uh, beneficial energies working in your favor. This is really, there's positive shifts, I would say mid to end of the month here. Uh, because this is this is very very good. I mean, it might well be you ha you even enjoy some windfalls here. Uh, even some money could be a little sum of money here. That you know the wheel of fortune can be about windfalls too. So it might well be you're just very lucky with money uh, around mid to end of the month as well. And then we have you back in your power, back in your throne. Leo, male or female with the King of Wands. Yes, I'm feeling comfortable with the position that I'm in now. This is you back in your power, back in your throne, a leader in your own life. Could also be a leadership position as well with the King of Wands. Uh, a certain degree of, of uh, responsibility and leadership is the King of Wands energy. This is somebody who is very, very successful because they understand how to take action because they're not defeatist. They don't accept defeat. They don't accept realities that they're not happy with. They actually take action to change them. This is somebody who takes the lead in their own life. And by doing that, this is the goal that you manifest, the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is a lovely card of the practical world. So money areas, career areas, new job, new business opportunity, new career path, also can be linked with a sum of money as well. Uh, but, and that could be, I mean, you know, this is very good in terms of a turnaround, a, a massive turning point in terms of money, career, finances, a uh, new level of stability and security coming your way. This is a new beginning card. That door is opening for you. And this is that first building block of something that can be very successful for you. So it's a lovely time of, of money areas in particular. I would say the latter half in particular is very strong for you here, Leo, of March. With the Knight of Pentacles, someone making you an offer. <laughs> I mean, these cards go hand in hand. Uh, 
job offer, business opportunity, contract. This is the Knight of Pentacles. It's the abundant knight. It takes a while to appear, the Knight of Pentacles, but when he does arrive, he stays around for a while. So this is this is new abundance coming into your life. It feels like a major turning point. And it's all because you refused to give up. You kept on going until the job was done. Because this isn't somebody who accepts the, the, the cards that they're dealt. This is somebody who will shape their world as they want it to be. And it might take effort, it does take perseverance, it doesn't mean that it's easy with the Seven of Wands, but it's a card of keep on going until the job is done. This is the energy of recovery. It feels like a major, major turnaround here for you because you work your magic and realize your own ability to create. Freeing yourself from a situation that has caused you pain, uh, caused you upset, caused you anguish of some kind. This is the energy that I'm seeing here, Leo. I'll also say, Leo, if this was a person in business that caused you upset, mental upset, then it might well be that you're choosing to leave one job for another because it might well be something has become too much of an issue in your own head, caused you too much stress. This person has caused you too much stress in a work situation that you choose to manifest a new beginning. So this is also the energy here, Leo, of if it was a person, you might be choosing to move jobs because you're standing up for what you know is right and true. This is somebody who isn't labeled. They determine their own life label. They see who they are. They take the lead in their life. They're not labeled and shaped by other people and situations, you know. They know what they stand for and what they don't stand for, you know. So this is the energy here of of you being true to yourself and this great sense of authenticity coming through in the reading. Let's have a look at love areas, uh, Leo. I mean, I was feeling a strong money area for you in March. But let's see what we have in terms of love, romance, relationships as well. So we have the Seven of Wands energy, standing your ground. This can be, there's reasons to stand your ground. I'm not backing down anymore. I'm, I'm standing for what I believe to be right and true. Now, there could well be a situation here where the stability of a relationship may have been affected. There could, I mean, this could be money areas for the majority of you, but stability in other areas, that could be trust. So it might well be that you are taking that step back here with the magician and the four of swords to see the way forward here. And this would be an energy here with the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune because the Hierophant can also be about having faith, leaning on your spiritual faith, talking to a holy person as well to give you counsel, uh, a mentor of some kind. Uh, but it, it can be about long-term committed relationships and marriage, which might re resonate for you as well. But it's whether things can be turned around. Can you truly turn something round? And that's what I'm seeing here, Leo, for you. I feel that you're going to be clear in what you're going to do towards mid to the end of the month. It feels like the message that you're being given here is to take some time out to really think on what you want to manifest and what you don't want to manifest here, whether something can be transformed or not, uh, This whether recovery is available to you or not. The Knight of Pentacles can be about getting back on track, having the opportunity to, to get back on track. With the King of Wands taking the lead, taking the initiative, the decision rests with you. It might well be this is an opportunity to start over in the home, the family, the relationship and see how something goes. Again, the Page of Pentacles can also be linked with moving or relocating home or property. Uh, but it can also be about practically starting over in the home, the family, the relationship and seeing if the stability that was affected in some way in the relationship can be rebuilt. This feels like trust issues if it was to do with recovery. 
uh, rebuilding trust in some way and slowly but surely seeing if that's possible. It's almost kind of like dipping the toe in the water and just moving at your own pace and that would be the energy here because there's a lot of resistance and there's a lot to overcome here Leo and that's what the energy is saying with the seven of wands. So you're just kind of like moving at your own pace and that would be the advice as well whether this person is home or returns home or you just kind of take things very cautiously in seeing if things can get back on track with this person or not. That would be the energy that I'm picking up on. Okay, Leo, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a few cards for heart areas, health areas, money, and I'm also going to pull uh, the sacred destiny card as well, which I normally do in spirit messages, but I've decided to do it here in the monthly. So let's see what we have for you in terms of matters of the heart first. What do we have for Leo, please? Heart areas for Leo. Thank you. Yeah. I have rejection. It doesn't surprise me that that's come out in the reading because that's what the Seven of Wands is, standing your ground, not backing down anymore, uh, standing firm on an issue, a topic. So this is a definite energy here of... Yeah, standing for what you believe to be right and true um, on your own terms. So I definitely feel that whatever this Nine of Swords and this King of Pentacles, certainly in terms of love, romance, relationships, someone may have been rejected and is certainly wanting to turn things around with you here, Leo. It looks like you're going through a process of really kind of like slowly but surely seeing if things can get back on track, but moving at your own pace. Uh, now, this can also be rejection in terms of the energy that I'm getting in money career terms. It's you rejecting. You rejecting. It could be the stress, anxiety, worry of the circumstances that you're finding yourself in because you know what you stand for and you're defending what you know to be right and true and will persevere in a path to overcome the issue and open up this new door for yourself. And that's what I'm seeing here. This is the energy of the world or another person doesn't define you. You define yourself. And remembering that this month. That's what I see in terms of heart energies in particular. Let's see what we have in terms of health for Leo. What do we have in terms of health for Leo? Thank you. Commitment, yeah. The Knight of Pentacles is an offer of commitment. So very good in terms of money, career, finances. Very good in terms of getting stability back in terms of relationships as well. So that's what I'm seeing here, Leo. A strong energy of commitment coming your way. And it brings a healthy change for you. This is all linked to that recovery energy, a new commitment or a new sense of commitment coming your way. Let's have a look in terms of money areas. I also feel with that commitment energy from a health point of view, this is when you stand for what you know to be right and true, stand for what you believe in, stand firm in your situation. This is stay committed to that path. Uh, don't give up. This is keep on going until the job is done. So that's the energy of commitment I see for you as well. What do we have in money career financial terms, please? Okay, thank you. Cards turned over, so let's go with it. We have the past. Something from the past is coming back, perhaps an old job or an unfinished project. Look to the past to understand the future, a lesson. Look to the past to understand the future, a lesson, an experience, or an old skill. You could be earning or receiving money from something you did in the past. Yeah, I did say we've got new money. Something new you've been working on will be very profitable. You should consider creating a new source of income. If you have a money-making idea, do it. But this is new money. These cards are new money with an offer. 
And Leo, I'm going to pull you a sacred destiny card. Let's see what the destiny card is for you. What do we have for Leo, please? Thank you. Yeah, leadership. I, I sense this for you. For some of you, this could be leadership roles, but this goes back to the whole reading that I'm talking about. You're the leader in your life. Leos are. Fire energy is. So remembering that and remembering your own power is key this month and remembering what you're capable of because the King of Wands is somebody who doesn't settle for less. They create the reality that they want. Okay, Leo, I'm going to pull you a final fairy card to finish off the reading. What do we have for Leo, please, as a final message? Thank you. We have come together. Fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. If you need help this month here, Leo, emotional, supportive, uh, it can be about asking for it, the coming together energy. Don't feel that you have to do everything on your own. But the coming together energy can also be about coming together in celebration too, for me as a reader as well. It's a lovely energy. So I'm going to pull you one more card. I also feel obviously in terms of love, this person wants to come back together with you. Again, free will. We have inner child. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. I would advocate that energy as well at the beginning of March because if something is causing you stress, worry, anxiety, uncertainty here, Leo, this sometimes doing something separate in another area of our life, something fun, a release, escapism, uh, something that you enjoy will actually balance out your energy very, very well and help you cope with this situation. Far better than just not doing it, you know. That's what I have for you, Leo, for the month of March 2023. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful March and I will see you next time.